Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Today I'm going to be discussing whether to wax your bicycle chain or use proprietary chain lubricants from the shop. About a couple of years ago I decided to start waxing my chains, uh, which I do every 250 kilometres. At one point I was doing it every 500 kilometres and then topping up the um, lubricant or the wax every 50 k's. But then I decided to try an experiment and just wax the chain and then do it every 250 k's. And it works, it's worked nicely. I've used, I used the three chain method on my bicycles where I have three chains and I rotate them. And on one of my bicycles I've done 12,000 kilometers with those three chains. And I'm on to the last chain now, the others are worn out. But I only wear them down to 0.75 using a chain checker. I probably won't change going back to using uh, proprietary lubricants uh, but it can be difficult if you're going away because you obviously can't wax the chains when you're out unless you take your equipment with you to do it. Uh, so maybe then I would take the uh, liquid that I make up myself which I will give the uh, recipe on screen. I like the way the check the waxing works. The chain will warn you if it's starting to get a, the wax is starting to wear out because it will start making a slight noise. And I immediately then, if, even if it's before the 250 kilometers, I will re-wax it and change it. It is a bit of a process because you have to first, what I do, I use petrol to clean the chain. I put it into an old water bottle and then shake it and uh, let it soak for a little while. And then I take the chain out I uh, hang it up outside so all the, the petrol can evaporate. Then, once it's fully evaporated, I put it into the wax bath. I found the easiest way to clean the chain is to take an old water bottle, put some uh, petrol in there, and give the uh, chain a good shake in there, and allow it to soak for a while. And you'll see all the dirt will come off and the old wax will dissolve. And it seems to work nicely. Okay, you have to be careful with the petrol there. I'm using a slow cooker, and I, but I wish I'd bought a rice cooker because the wax would have heated up a lot quicker. Once the wax is up to temperature, and by the way I, knew, I do this outside because of the fumes coming off of the candle wax, I then drop the chain in, which has obviously been thoroughly dried from the petrol, and I wait, uh, leave the chain in until bubbles start rising, uh, finish rising from the chain. You'll see them, they stop, they just stop coming up. And once that's done, I assume that the wax has got has penetrated the rollers. As you can see, the bubbles are coming up. And once the bubbles start rising out of the rollers and the pins, then I take the chain out. Well, once it's, it has to be cooled first slightly there. When that process is finished, I turn off the slow cooker and allow it to cool slightly, but be warned, don't let it cool completely, otherwise you won't get the chain out because it will just be a mass of wax. Oops, what did I say? Yes, I left it too long. But all you need to do is just reheat it so that you can take the chain out. Um, I do this to allow the wax to start to solidify inside of the chain. If you take it out too quickly, you will, you will, it will all run out. I know some people dunk the chain in water, but I tried that and I didn't like doing that. So I just allow mine to cool. You'll see the top of the wax starts to go white and then pull out the chain. Then I hang the chain up to cool completely. You will notice once you take the chain off and want to put it onto your bicycle, that it's quite stiff, but to me that's the whole purpose of it, it means that the wax has penetrated the rollers and the pins. And then put it back on the bicycle and then rotate the pedals a few times and you will notice that some wax falls on the floor so it's probably a good idea to do this outside. And then you're ready to go. Um, as I've already said, I think it's a really good method of doing it. I'm happy with it. I'm using it on all my bicycles and I haven't noticed the excessive uh, chain wet. If you are riding in a muddy conditions, it may be different because we don't get a lot of rain in South Africa and if we do, it dries up quickly. But I've noticed when I've ridden in mud, it, I do need to redo the waxing a little bit earlier. 
So, in my opinion, I think it's, it's great. I like the, the, the convenience of it. It means I don't have to lubricate the chain every time I come back from a ride. And I found that using, um, using proprietary products, you get, you get dust and everything stuck to the chain. It just doesn't seem to happen with the waxing. In summary, I think if you have time to do the waxing and you, 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 know, you do have to put a bit of effort into doing it, it's, in my opinion, it's worth it. If you've got a busy life and you, you can't get around to doing that with all the riding you want to do, then maybe use preparatory uh, fluids. But I'm very pleased with the method and I will be carrying on doing that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments on waxing your chain or lubricants, please leave them um, below this video. Thanks for watching. Happy cycling. Bye-bye.